perhaps it's interesting how to sh show to show how I make an IF amplifier. And in this case, with two small IF filters, coil filters, both on say four, six, eight kilohertz. And the soldering of such a filter here. is always a kind of problem because here it's more or less tiny all these wires and of course these filters were not made to be mounted in this way anyway this is the setup piece of uh, well varnished wood here also and then a few wires to the underside of the filter and that filter has uh, two electrodes on one side and three electrodes on the other side and the uh, uh, three electrode part is the frequency dependent part of course the filter is by itself completely frequency dependent, it dependent. it's tuned to a bandwidth of say 10 kilohertz but anyway this is the uh, in coupling winding or out coupling winding and here is inside that filter a capacitor so this is the part where the capacitor is this is one winding here It's quite difficult to draw this, but anyway, this is the situation. Here is often a capacitor of say 300 picofarad, 400 picofarad. Here is the one coil, here the other coil, and here the core that can be tuned. And the tuning goes here, so now I tune that coil and you can see on the scope and the counter that the frequency changes when I uh, align that coil to the perfect in fact to its peak where it was made for anyway so uh, the soldering goes in this way I press a small uh, piece of paper over the pins of that uh, coil and then I solder all the wiring. I uh, flip the coil, put it here. Of course you can do that in a completely other way, etc. etc. But my circuits are always pure experimental. So I, I have to have enough points here where I can do experiments and when they are on the underside of a, of, a, of a circuit board that's a big problem. So uh, in that case I have to turn the board and that's of course not um, real in a situation where everything has to be uh, experimented out. For instance I want to give this uh, IF filter a somewhat lower IF frequency and that means that I have to bridge the capacitor that's built in here with another capacitor and when that is on the back side of the board that's um, not real anyway to, to um, I mean to do experiments to change values of components etc etc anyway um, the, a good idea is to pre-tune the IF filters first I now for instance tune it to 465. I have connected it here to a help oscillator. That circuit is on my YouTube channel. And here is that IF coil connected. And of course it oscillates. And I tune here to say, let's say 465. And 
After that, I do exactly the same with this IF filter. And then I know when I've uh, made all the electronics around it, that both filters are properly aligned. Or perhaps not properly, but surely aligned exactly to the same um, frequency. And then in the final situation, when all the electronic components are mounted, the field effect transistor, the mixer transistor, and the uh, end transistor of the IF filter, I tune in the two IF coils in a definite way. And that means, in fact, fractions of a millimeter. So a fraction of a millimeter can mean when you turn it, that you receive a certain radio station in a much better way. But this is a kind of coarse pre-tuning for both IF filters. And in the definite situation I do the fine tuning. And when all is working properly, I'm going to experiment with the crystal to even try to make the bandwidth of that IF filter more sharp. So perhaps I'm going to uh, interchange the coil filter here by the crystal filter. That has all to be experimented out. Wish you luck.